In this video, I will explain which software I use in my Swing Studio. I focused on software which is available for all major operating systems so that it will run on Linux, Windows and the Mac too. Despite from my launch monitor, my Swing Studio contains only free, respectively open source software which can be downloaded for free in actual versions for Linux, Windows and Mac OS. What I tried to achieve is the possibility to record at least two video cam sources, ideally even more, like audio comments, additional video sources or the display content of my launch monitor. The output of all these should not only be saved in a video file, I also want to use a large second monitor or a beamer to watch it while I practice. This is not enough. I want to get a small delay so I can focus on my rehearsals first and then after the practice swing has finished, I want to see what I've done. Luckily, you need only two pieces of software for all that. The first one is OBS Studio a software suite intended to produce video streams for YouTube and similar services, but able to get much more out of it. This is the location where you find downloads for your system. The second one is the well-known VLC player. You can download it for your system from the location you see here. After starting OBS Studio, set up a new scene in the lower left area of the user interface. Next, immediately to the right, add the sources for both of the webcams which are connected. Choose under Video Capture Device where you can choose from the different resolutions your webcam can provide. Here I go for a resolution which corresponds to the half amount of my actual canvas width. I copy these settings to the second video source, my other webcam. Move the window of the second video source to the right side of the canvas where it snaps on magnetically by holding the mouse button. That's all you need. Although OBS Studio is already capable to save your capturings in a video file, it is even more practical to set it up as some kind of streaming server sending a video stream to the PC itself so that any media player on the same system – I'll use VLC in this example – will be able to play the stream. In OBS settings, go to Output and opt under Output Mode for Advanced. Set in the Recording tab the Type to Custom Output FFmpeg, which then allows you to stream the output to an URL, a uniform resource locator path, instead of saving it in a local file. The path here reads UDP for the streaming protocol, the localhost IP address 127.0.0.1, which always refers to the PC you actually use, and a port number you are free of choice. The container format is MPEG-TS, the matching video encoder is MPEG to video. Under Video, you define the resolution, the size of your canvas. If this resolution matches the one of the output stream resolution, it seems to me that you could avoid unnecessary CPU load. The FPS value should match the picture rate your webcams deliver. When all settings are done, start recording by clicking the button and that's it with OBS. Next, open VLC player, where under Media Open Network Stream, you'll get into a dialog.
type in the very same URL you defined before in OBS. The add symbol here is just a shortcut of the localhost IP address. In the player's window, the stream will then get visible. VLC's menu leads to the checkbox under View Advanced Controls, enabling control buttons like Record and Pause, which let you additionally save what you see as a video file, a MPEG file with a TS extension, which stands for Transport Stream. You can use VLC2 to play these type of files or to convert them to MP4 files, for example. The clue is the option to pause the stream for a moment with a button to achieve a delay of a few seconds. I use a beamer headed to the wall in shot direction to watch the swing I made just a moment before. If you want to max out the useful area of your canvas in OBS, resize the windows of the video devices. Each of these windows offers a context menu via a right click. Under Transform, Edit Transform, alter the bounding box type so that it will scale to inner bounds and set the bounding box size to max out the height of your canvas. Under Crop, Change the values so that unnecessary areas left and right are cut away and the view is scaled to the size you prefer. <laughs> 